Welcome to the beautiful city of Minneapolis and the 2024 APS March meeting. I'm your host Stephen Horn and I'm delighted to be here. But I'm even more delighted to be joined this year by Audrey Govery. That's right, Stephen. I'm so excited to be here. This is a first for APS TV. We are both here hosting to bring you more scientific breakthroughs, dive deeper into the latest research, and introduce you to even more leaders in the field of physics. We highlight the groups making big breakthroughs in physics research. See how global collaboration is key, Orchard. Can you believe that we are marking 125 years of the American Physical Society? It's a very special year as we are meeting here in Minneapolis to celebrate the advancement and diffusion of physics. One of my uh, focuses uh, this year is to strengthen our relationship with uh, societies in, within the uh, U.S., but societies outside of the U.S. The discoveries sometimes come out of frustrations, come out of a necessity. You don't know where it's going to go, so all these applications came out, came out of nowhere. The International Year looks to help make sure that we, we provide equal access to everybody and that everybody has access to the education that they need to build their quantum strategy. Although we've used this method quite a bit, we're still very actively developing additional advanced methods. We're moving beyond just the Bayesian method into other more sophisticated techniques in solution of inverse problems. Uh, so in the Quantum Internet Alliance, we're working on building a prototype network that links two metropolitan networks over more than 500 kilometers by the end of 2029 in fiber. We chose here at the APS March meeting 2024 to make a world first, which is the first ever working quantum computer on a conference floor. This is a Deleuze refrigerator, which produces temperatures down as low as about five millikelvin to enable quantum computing. We're showing a cabling system or a wiring solution for quantum computers. We've got a lot of openings on our team. You know, we're looking to recruit people from the APS meeting. Every step along the way, APS has been there for us. You would get so many opportunities, so I would encourage everyone to join APS. So it's so fun to be here in the same space, you know, getting to know them as people, not just as scientists. It's also great to see the energy of the people here. It's like running in a marathon where you're carried through by just the energy of the crowd. And it's just a great way to meet new people and then learn about the exciting field of research going on. It's a wrap on APS TV 2024. We hope you've enjoyed all the specially curated content from the sit down interviews to the in depth segments. We look forward to being right back with you again next year in Anaheim. Have a great one.